Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox Steam Edition 2.2.0 Yeah, <laughs> so this is basically, it's, it, it's pretty much what it says on the box <laughs> Box, um, that wasn't funny Um, yeah, you basically get to um, screw around with the universe and we quickly realise why say for example I'm not God um, for example you can there's tons of these um, comes with loads of simulations kind of pre-made so you don't have to start from the beginning you can just make your own solar system and I've done that and a uh, silly system purple teapot star wait for it there we go this this is my solar system where we have um, a um, our sun and heat, our, 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 our heat is, is a purple teapot that is the size of, that's quite small, I should have made that bigger, it's the size of a sun, it, I made it the size of like, this. once something goes over a certain weight in this it kind of instantly turns into a sun, so, <laughs> I, just, I mean it doesn't look quite as good when it's purple, but, but I like purple, I mean if you turn it to um, hold on, Ooh, this thing, white, okay, then it looks a bit more like a star, but it's not as, I don't know, stars should be purple, <laughs> or give out purple, so everything kind of on the nearby um, planets, I put that in an inverted comma, because for the planets I added the moon, a bowling ball, and a football, that football is the size of 3.14 Jupiters, I have hang on a minute, that pie, no, yes, no, <laughs> pie Jupiters, <laughs> hmm, yes, and the bowling ball the size of 10 Earths, and the moon the size of, of a moon, okay, I did do that, uh, so basically anything on these kind of planets would actually kind of just be in sort of pink, I suppose, because only pink light is going out, well there was an Earth, wasn't there? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. Earth, which is being orbited by a dice. Oh yeah, yeah, look, it, it looks all purple. Because, cause, yeah, science. So even though this would be a white dice, it's now purple. In fact, I bet it's the same. I didn't mean the football. Although, hey, purple football. Yeah, all these things would be white. So I suppose, uh, that's the Earth. Zoomy zoom. Yeah, kind of everything's got more of a purpley. Hello Australia. How are you doing? I live hold on, hold on. Damn, I can't see <laughs> I can't see. I need more light. Hang on. I know how to solve this. This is how you solve this. This is genuinely how you should solve things. I've just put a sum here. <laughs> then I'll be able to see. Okay. The earth is now orbiting I think into the sun. Is it orbiting? It's now orbiting into the sun. It's left a teapot. But more importantly, I can now see on both sides. I live, that's America, that's Africa. Damn, there's a cloud over England, as usual. Oh, there, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, basically, I think it was getting updates because it, it can be quite buggy it tends to crash on me quite a lot tends i close it and then it decides that was a crash which is teapot you are so not facing the right way um which is weird but um the sun is a lot closer than it probably should be what's the temperature on earth right now um hold on it's here somewhere i'm sure it does <laughs> I'm sure there's something, whoops, I didn't mean to click off the earth, there's something, um, mathematical, um, planet temperature, oops, I might have just cooked everyone, sorry, oh, hello son, um, so, uh, if I speed up the, um, time step to one day a second, or oh, per step, then, oh, this is paused. Ah, I, I think I may have sent the Earth off, um, Earth off at a random angle. Yeah. Hmm. 
Earth is no longer in orbit around the teapot star. And everything's probably a lot colder now. Has the dice lost its orbit as well? Yeah, I've broken everything. The teapot's gone flying off for some reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've broken my own solar system. Um, what's this? Uh, that, that's just me with another teapot, I think. <laughs> I, I, I'm so creative. What about this one? Ooh, that's pretty. That's the earth. I gave the earth, like, rings and then they exploded and there's another teapot. Um, oh dear. Um, so yeah, it comes with a lot of, if you don't feel like doing stupid things like me, um, it comes with, it tries to show, there's one which shows you, like, all the, um, stars and there's one which will show you like the constellations which is pretty cool um saturn and neptune the only thing is these can obviously lag our solar system centered on earth <laughs> we are the center um our solar system will no yeah if you go for moons asteroids and rings then it starts freaking out so i'm going to load this and see how badly this goes um oh dear god what is this um so here's our solar system. There's Eris. There's Rauruna. There's Ixen. There's Qua. There's 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 things. There's a planet. What's that? Oh, that's Neptune. Uh, Neptune with its moons. If you put things on like a too fast time step, then everything kind of goes wrong. What's that? That's Uranus. Um, what am I looking for? What's that? Okay, so that's the, um, hold on. <gasps> Pluto! Pluto, Pluto, Pluto! Oh, Pluto. Pluto is my favourite. Pluto is a proper planet. It's not a dwarf planet. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. It is too big now. Hold on. It is not a dwarf planet anymore. <laughs> Yay. Um, and also... Hold on. Mm, hold on. Uh, we're also going to... No, not that. Um... Right. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, ah oh, yes, I know. Yep. <laughs> Pluto's had enough of being cold. I've just left Pluto's moons behind. Bye! Sorry. Um, where can we put Pluto? Where should Pluto be? Um, it, it's better than them. Um, yes, it shall go here. I can see absolutely no problem with that crashing into us or someone else at any point anytime soon. That is absolutely fine. Um, I'm going to play it now and then like it just Pluto instantly eats Earth and... Hold on, let's see. If I move it up to an hour, a step. A day a step? Whoa, what the heck? Hold on, hold on. This is the thing, this is... If you um put it on too fast a time step, and hold on, what's our, our collision mode? Oh, yeah. If you put it on too fast a time step, then then things with lots of moons tend to. Oh, that's Saturn. Saturn's just exploded. Um, what's going on over here? Um, I assume what is this Jupiter maybe with this many moons? Yeah. Where's that? Okay. <laughs> See all the moons. Where's Jupiter? Jupiter. Jupiter. Don't try and hide from me, you made this mess. Oh, there it is. Next to Gal... Ganymede, which I always think of as Gallifrey. Because I can. Oh, wait. Io. No, Io. Io is one of the main moons. Io, you can't leave us. No. Um, yes. <laughs> Don't put the game on too fast, because it will just... Especially if we've got a big solar system and stuff like that. All the rings are exploding, everything's gone wrong. Um, let's reopen this. Um, let's open it. Just planets and dwarf planets. I don't think that will even include the moons. Yes, that's better. 
Uh, it doesn't even have Earth's moon. Oh, I miss our moon. Um, yeah, but <laughs> everything's not going to suddenly explode. So who are other dwarf planets? Make, make. Make, what kind of name is make, make? <laughs> Just two words you've stuck together. Not even two different. Make, make is a good name. It's like moon, moon. Um, how, who, how Mia, Eris, until then again I can't really say make, make. Can't say that. Pluto, 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 we're making you big again. Okay, good. Um, Jupiter, has it not got their rings? Where's, where's, what's Sirius? Is that, uh oh, must be a, see the other one had like even the, um, asteroid belt, which was kind of cool. Saturn doesn't have its rings. I imagine. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is going on? Mayday, mayday. Oh. Yeah, sometimes it puts you on, woof, on like landing view when you're trying to zoom things in. <laughs> that just does that. Especially if you're on a high speed. Right, Saturn. Come here. Come here. Um, yeah, you, you don't look good without your rings, do you? Um, hold on. How do you add rings again? I think it's here. Rings, there we go. Saturn. Saturn rings. Saturn. No, rainbow rings. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then add a new ring of awesome. No. Wait. Yes, has rings. Jupiter has rings. Saturn. Not more normal ring. <laughs> How there you define normal. I am normal. What? Um, and yeah, you can even, you can do loads of little messing about, kind of, ah, cool, kind of, so, hang on, where's the inner of that ring? There. If we do that, and then, um, move those in, and then I don't know, change it to awesome. Yeah, that is beautiful. Actually, I think, I, can't, I don't think you can have Saturn like awesome rings. I think that's the next thing they have to do. They have to let you be able to colour the wing, rings. I don't know if this is receiving updates anymore. It seemed to have kind of stopped. But yeah, you should be able to have lots of different types of rings and then colour them. Oh, look at Saturn. Saturn should actually look like that. That is awesome. Woo! Anyway. Um, what else can we do? Um, I know. Let's go to new... No, I just want a new one. And then, here's something fun you can do. Give me a star. Give me a decent star, not sun. The sun is a rubbish star. Sorry guys, if you're fans of the sun, it is a star. And then we want something similar to 17 suns. Man, wolf is a pathetic. Wolf star is less than our star. That's a pathetic star. Alpha Centauri B. So is Alpha Centauri. Stars, why are you worry? Star, oh, Sirius. Sirius or Sirius? How do you say that? Polaris. I love Polaris. That's my favourite. Just because of the name. Um, yeah, 20 suns. I was going to say, <laughs> that's about the right side. But it's huge. <laughs> oh, it must have a, um, oh yeah, it has a rubbish density. Let's, um, hold on. Uh, you can mess around with, right, we want to lock, yeah, mass. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Lock mass and then make it a lot smaller. Smaller, smaller. I wonder if this will go down. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Ah, uh, that will make it go down quicker. Works for me. I could just type it in, but I'm not even sure what I want. Um, are those roughly, are those close enough? Let's see. Are you orbiting? You're orbiting. Um... Then what you can do is, whoops, that's not what I meant. I think it's the hand tool, maybe. Do I want a hand? No. You're going that way. <laughs> oh dear, I think we might be about to have a collision. Never mind. Oh no, it's that tool. Right, do that. And then, no, I want these. Um, Make binary orbit, and then you have a binary star orbit. Oh. And then you can be stupid and add rings to... Can I? Error. 
Oh wait, hang on. Did that actually... Um, hold on. Give me that. There's the Barry Center. Is that about in the middle? I think that's what you need for a binary orbit. Yeah. Barry Center. Um... Yeah, it probably thought I was... Yeah, I'm trying... I don't want to put it around both. Um... I want awesome rings around Regal. I can't see the awesome. Where are the awesome rings? I can't see them. Oh wait, <laughs> I know where they are. They're actually inside the star. I think. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh. Um. Yeah. The problem is, it's not very good for typing things in. Like that. Can I see them? Nope. Um. Hmm. Hold on. Let's try twenty. Nine. <laughs> I meant twenty, but right. Let's make maybe change the inner. Maybe twenty. Twenty. Million. Go. Um. I'm still not seeing these awesome rings. How big is um? Regal, am I just... How big are you? Oh, go away. <laughs> Stop telling me errors. How big are you? You're like... Oh, you're 100 and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not... I'm not... I didn't do... Well, I am interested in astronomy, but... I didn't do it this much. Uh, right, so if it's 109... I don't know the, um... <laughs> the lengths of um no, not 200 meters million kilometers okay you've turned that into astronomical units that works for me now i see them i don't want Saturn. i want awesome and then the outer needs to become uh oh let's use astronomical units then say two a u if you didn't know an astro an a u or is it astronomical unit i don't know an a u is rough is the mean distance between Earth and the Sun? I think. I think. I think. We can check that out later. Yeah. So that's how you make a binary system and put some awesome rings. Now I've got an urge to see if all my physics learning <laughs> last year was actually worth it. And this is wrong. My physics teacher will be so disappointed. But she went nice. That's fine. Uh, um, yes, one are you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, I was right, I was right. All the moons fly away. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what other? Um, you've got a couple of, um, sillier things, like, you can play space pool. If that's kind of, you can, because I mean, how do you make these? I think there are lots of actual textures, um, and apparently these are, okay, um, yeah, there are lots of kind of textures and stuff you can go for, but, yeah, yeah, there are textures and there's all sorts of things you can you can play with. I mean, there's a huge amount of custom. I haven't even gotten to the options. Like, you can choose whether you have bounce mode, which obviously, when you're doing this, you want, or collision mode, which <laughs> now combine combine mode, and <laughs> I've just got a giant pool ball. Um, then you've got you know, choose your accuracy, dust trails and impacts. Um, you can change the background if you don't like the milky way you can whoa oh my god this is just that's just what this is why you don't take drugs kid <laughs> white that's not white that's gray that's gray i swear that's gray look that's white that's great oh wait can if i put this up okay that's white that's black but you know cool um, oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to put that back up. Okay, yeah, stars and the Milky Way. So this is the Milky Way. Oh, um, yeah, so th you can do a lot of customization in the end of this, and there's a lot of little ones that have already been made for you, or you can make your own, and that's fun. Um, Wasp 12 and the hottest known planet. Yeah, there's a lot of 
you know, it's worth you having some background astronomy knowledge or geek knowledge. <laughs> um, that will help. Uh, dice, two floating in space. This is what happens if you put dice together in space. <gasps> Not a lot. We're going to watch them collide, everyone. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Uh, it might have been slightly more interesting if I changed the collision mode. <laughs> Gulp. That actually happens, kids. If you throw two dice together, they'll become one. Only works with dice, though. I like to dice swarm. What? <laughs> oh my god, the dice. And this they, the dice. I like how they just kind of stick it. <laughs> no, no, no. This is more fun with collision mode. Let's see which dice survives. Dice 28 is looking good. I think I have, my bets are on dice 28. My bets are still on dice 28. Dice 22 is giving it a try though. Dice 22. Nope. He has been eaten. Our winner is dice 28. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, but also, yeah, if you've had a bad day, Earth is centred for some reason. Earth is not the centre of the solar system, but for some reason, hang on, I thought it said that this was our entire solar system. Oh, I am. Yeah, it isn't. Somehow, I was like, nope, this is not our entire solar system. Yeah, if you've had a bad day, um, then all you need to do is, I mean, you can throw asteroids, but I prefer throwing teapots. Because that'd be so much better. Um, not orbital. Um, yeah. And going at, like, some kind of ridiculously high speed. Boom! Yeah, you can just hurl teapots at the Earth, if that's your thing. Or, you know, bowling balls. Boom! I assume this is, um... Whoa, one of the teapots has escaped. No! What's our lot the bowling balls? I assume this is on absorb mode. What's this? Mercury 19. Why 19? Why 22? What number system are we using? Om nom nom. And then one day, we feed enough mercuries to the earth, and it grows to be the size of, hold on, 2.49 earths. Then we feed it earths. Oops, what? Um, <laughs> I think I may have knocked the earth out of orbit. Sorry! Oh dear. Let's just run away. What's, what else have we got? Moon's flat disk. What? What was that? It's just a flat disk of moons. All slowly colliding. What mode are we on? Bounce, not as fun. Currently there's moon 12 and there's moon, oh moon 60 is very big and moon 59, what are you doing? We need to get a move on. Moon 17 isn't really getting involved in, oh my god, <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let's go a bit faster. 15 minutes per step. <gasps> and then there's a bit of, he's winning, he's winning, moon 20, moon 20, looks like it's going to be a winner. <gasps> moon 20 is one, but moon 17 and moon 49 have escaped to fight another day. Oh, Moon 17's now in orbit around Moon. Twen I swear he just cut through it. And poor, poor Moon 49 is forever alone out in the um dark space of space. Um, yeah. So, Spike Dyson Sports were orbiting around. Well, um, oh, there was one that was quite interesting. Hold on. Where is it? Um, oh, there we go. I found this interesting simply because, oh yeah, you can have all the space crafts as well. Simply because this was the year I was born. And there's Gallifrey again. Sorry. Um, yeah, this is the, um, um, the asteroids colliding with, um, Jupiter. Which, for some reason, they named after shoes. Shoemakers. Shoemaker. I don't quite understand the naming of thing, and yeah. This is just, like, how many was it? Was it 20... 120, I don't know, they've named it A to W, I don't know how many, there's 20, oh I don't know, 1, 2, 3, oh, hang on, did it say, did it say, Shoemaker, Levy, 9, I don't know, well, 
let's just hold on. This is a bit slow for my liking. Go faster. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so this was an important astrological event that people watched in the year I was born, where Jupiter got held with asteroids, and everyone was like, oh no, what if this happens to us? And yeah. <laughs> then there's the great, I wonder if it has the, um, hold on, 2000, where all the planets aligned and everyone thought we'd die. Uh, oh, that's that comet. Um... Mm, and then, yeah, you can have all the stars. Hang on, let's just maybe. Hmm. Constellations and Galaxy, that's actually a nice one. Let's finish off with this. See? These are all the. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't zoom out too much. Oh, cool, it has the Milky Way and everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot, you can have. You can go for a much bigger scale if you like and actually add full galaxies. Hold on, where's the galaxies? There's the galaxies. And have like the Milky Way and Andromeda. And In fact, there's one simulation of the um, galaxies colliding, which is called, oh, there's our sun. That's probably what we're supposed to be. No, I don't want to land on the sun. That's a stupid idea. Oh, hang on, because I've still got this. Go away. Yeah, it won't let you zoom in if you've kind of got a really big object kind of on your cursor. Yeah, but anyway. Let's just pretend we're on the sun. In fact, maybe we should go into landing mode. There we go. We are now on the surface of the sun. Bit warm here, but you know. Oh, they do have, they have Andromeda already there. Oh. That's cool. Um, yeah. And this is our beautiful night sky. Well, if you were standing on the sun, it might look slightly different. Probably not hugely different if you're standing on Earth. Um, yep. There's the dog star and the dog. Oh, that does actually kind of look like a dog. You look at some of these and go, that's that's just not a bull. Where's Taurus? There's Taurus. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, there's Gemini. No. Uh, I suppose because we're on our sides, I can kind of see that. Um, that's just not a bear. Bears don't have tails like that. That's. I'm sorry. That's like a kangaroo rat with those big long legs. It's a kangaroo rat. It's not a. It's not a bear. Um. Oh, and there's a saucepan. Um. <laughs> um what else have we got? Um, I think whoever names some of these stars, but well, was obviously on some week. I mean, I suggest that if you're into stargazing, you go and look at the actual stars. But, you know. Why was I saying it? Sex tans. Sex. Who named that? It was a hydra. Don't how I just have three heads? Just, just, just saying. I don't see three heads. Um, Vila. Puppies. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is Universe Sandbox. Um, yeah. Go live on a purple teapot star. Good day.